Welcome back to It Resolves, where we play a new deck every single day. Today's deck is a Shin Aggro. What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing really well today. I hope your week is starting off well. We have got a fascinating deck today. This is a Shin Aggro created by the amazing Swayze. If you don't know who Swayze is, fellow content creator, fantastic uh, deck builder and just all around great guy. Go hang out with him. Uh, I will link him down below. And Swayze, thank you so much for sharing this over on Aetherhub. Also, sidebar, thank you to John because he actually pointed this deck out to me, uh, this deck out to me, uh, on Swayze's channel and I was like oh that's so good so uh, I had to play it here this is going to be a fun one so it isn't a Shen deck two heavens is one the idea being that as you attack you've got a lot of triggers that will hopefully be doubled up as you've got a Shen on the field so with that in mind we've got the triumphant adventure which is going to hopefully venture into the dungeon a couple of times uh Adeline, which can spit out a couple of uh one ones uh and of course bolster her own uh power we do have the two two shaman off of the face which can uh, create treasure tokens. We've got Nadar, who can also venture into the dungeon. We've got Thundering Raiju, who's hopefully going to be able to finish the game very quickly. This actually throwing 1-1 one -one counters on stuff, obviously that gets stuff out of range of like meat hooks and just other creatures on the field, but on top of that, just dealing damage to the opponent is pretty awesome. Uh, Goldspan Dragon, of course, we get extra treasure tokens. You can't be too upset with that. Sanctuary Warden, really nice one, uh, because you're able to draw cards and kind of refill the hand. The, the hand and <clears throat> we do have rabble rousing as well uh which is awesome in this deck i have not i i've in full disclosure i've practiced this deck three times so far all of them we have won uh and i did not actually even draw a rabble rousing this feels like a win more card but it's also just really sick so i'm hoping we get to test that out uh we do have rip apart as well as vanishing verse these are kind of our removal pieces and that's the whole deck uh, we do have Hive of the Eye Tyrant and Seed of the uh, the Empire there, but other than that, I mean, it's a pretty straightforward list. We're just trying to get a ton of attack triggers off of a Shin, hopefully getting a lot of extra value and taking over the game. So I'm not going to waste any time, guys. Again, Swayze, thank you so much. Let's jump into the games. Let's see how we do. All right, guys, and here we are for game number one. Uh, yeah, I mean, we could definitely keep this. It's not necessarily an amazing hand, but... Uh, what we are able to do is potentially either get Nadar or the Fable down. I think I'd kind of lean towards the Fable, depending on the deck we're against, of course. Uh, but getting that... Ooh, that's a good draw. Uh, getting that extra um, trigger off of... Or, excuse me, treasure, wow, off of the uh, the Fable of the Mirror Breaker seems pretty relevant. I'm going to wait and see what they do. Normally, I would kind of pull the trigger early on a Shambling Gas because, of course... Uh, Deadly Dispute is an option, but um, I don't think I'm too worried about it yet. I'm going to wait and see what they do. If they play anything here, looks like they're not. That's fine. I don't really want to waste a... Uh... Let's do this. Let's go ahead and start on the venture, actually. This is just a stronger threat, so it's going to be a little bit trickier to deal with. Um, it is out of range of a Shambling Gas block as well, which is quite nice. So if they want to do anything about it, they're going to have to do a little bit more um i mean that one certainly looks good but i don't think we go for the tomb of annihilation maybe we go this way uh just to get the extra scry right off the top that'll hopefully smooth out our lands because we we obviously do need lands here um but then also we can get a creature later on with the goblin token i feel like that's probably worth it Opponent looks like they might be just deciding on what to do. I'm sure they've got a way to remove the Nadar, but I figured the instantaneous value at least sets up a, a situation where we're not just losing outright value uh, by playing the Fable. Um, so we'll see. I mean, it's very easy for them to just not block, or, or excuse me, not attack, and then be able to block the uh, Fable there. All right, so there's the Deadly Dispute. Again, we expected that at some point, so that's fine. They have got plenty of mana now, uh, and I'm a little concerned. It looks, I mean, obviously Orzov is very, very good. Okay, we actually can pretty handily deal with that, so that's not the end of the world. Uh, they do get to draw a card, of course, there, but that's kind of fine. Hmm. I mean, the cool play is a Shin, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for the cool play. Normally, I would say let's Vanishing Verse this, because 
really that's the right call. <laughs> um, but this is way cooler. Um, hmm. Let's do the treasure token. I think that's probably correct. And then we'll just do this. Uh, actually, that was probably incorrect. Let's do this. So we'll just kind of nix the power of that. Um, that's fine. They get to block. They lose their eye twitch. Um, cool. Technically, I think it would have been better, I guess, to go the other way, but I think we need the treasure token, especially with the Sanctuary Warden in hand and, you know, a very good couple of three drops here. I'd love to set up a situation where we can play a three drop plus Vanishing Verse or just ramp ourselves into that Sanctuary Warden. So, again, I feel like this is probably for the best. It looks like this is just the Vampire stack, which is definitely scary. There is no doubt about that. Um... Interesting. Hmm. I'm going to go for the Adeline here. We're going to attack with Nadar. Um, we're going to draw a card. Rip apart, huh? That's actually pretty important. Uh, okay. I, like, still kind of want to go this route, just because the 1-1 one -one counters are relatively important for us, so I'm just going to do this. Yeah, for that reason. <laughs> uh, okay. So, depending on how they block here, this is going to work out for us pretty well. They obviously are going to block one of those. This is actually great. So we have the Vanishing Verse to deal with the Welcoming Vampire, which just means we get to keep the Nadar. Um, that was a bit of a risky play. If they had blocked the other way, we obviously couldn't have killed Edgar. Uh, but now we're in a position where we've got a very commanding board presence. If they do sweep, it's not good for us, obviously. But uh, that might be the only out they have. Uh, that's fine. I mean, we've got Rip Apart, of course. Uh, ideally, I'd like to Rip Apart the Edgar once it's flipped into the, the coffin. Um, okay, so it looks like they're going to Necrotic Fumes, I assume, a Shin, which would make a lot of sense. No, they're going to Vanishing Verse the uh, Adeline. Hey, fair enough. Uh, fascinating. Okay. That was kind of a risky play, uh, if I'm honest. That was interesting. Okay. Um... Yeah, I mean, I think we just attack in with both of these. All right, uh, let's throw a one-one out there. Nah, let's let's treasure token. We need the double red for the uh, thundering Raiju, of course. We'll go ahead and kind of nix the power of that. Um, and I'm curious to see, yeah, they are gonna block with it. So this is actually really working in our favor because we can rip apart. Uh, or no, excuse me. Yes, we can. Okay, sorry. That was silly. Uh, let's rip apart here. Uh, unfortunately, that does mean we can't... We can't Vanishing Verse this, right? It's multicolor. Okay. Um, I think I will Fable here. Again, we want to get the mana going, and so at this point, we're pretty concerned, or, or pretty... It's very important that we get the uh, treasure tokens here. If we can get two of them, that gives us Sanctuary Warden mana, which will allow us to refill the hand as well. So I feel like this is definitely the right play. Um, I'm glad we went for the treasure token play there as well. Obviously, they do have the Necrotic Fumes, so my assumption is they're going to kill the Ashin. Yeah. Which makes complete sense. Obviously, the right play. Uh, they're going to Environmental Sciences pull a land. All right. Uh, that's actually really good for us. Um, you know, weirdly, uh, uh, I guess it's Thundering Raiju. Yeah, I think it's Thundering Raiju here. Um, I don't love that, but I just think that's probably the correct play. Uh, all right, so we do attack in with everything. We'll get to draw a card, which is phenomenal. Uh, I guess we could have done that first, but this is perfectly fine. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and Sanctuary Warden now. Um, 
And I will take one of the counters off to get... Oh, cool. So we got a land. That was actually really important. Uh, that's a that's our double red, uh, crucially, but it's also our sixth land, which does allow us to do quite a number of other things. So uh, if we do draw another Sanctuary Warden, which I know we scribed one to the bottom, but that would allow us the opportunity to play it naturally and not have to worry so much about the treasure token side of things. Okay, so they found a solution. They get to Rite of Oblivion. Makes total sense. And there is a Lolf. Uh, not as scary as you'd think because we've got... Plenty of options to kill it, so not really all that worried about it. Let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and just exile the Loth. Not particularly interested in dying to a Loth, and if they, I guess they're probably not a Blood on the Snow deck, but um, I think we just all out attack. Obviously, they're gonna be able to um, kind of deal with some stuff here, but we'll put it here. What do we want to do now? I think we're in the camp of let's finish the game, so I'm going to make everybody lose a life here, ping them for even more, and now if they want to kill Nadar or the Raiju, they have to double block, and in this case, they're just going to take as much damage as they can, or the least amount of damage they can, excuse me. Uh, but here again, we're in a very, very good spot. They do have an Elspeth, which is a great card. Uh, yeah. That's super good. And that's not a bad pull. Um, I mean, it gives them blockers, right? So that's definitely not a bad pull, but the Thundering Raiju alone should be enough to kind of get them here because we can reflection it. Uh, alternatively, of course, we just have other ways we can do it, so that's not that big of a deal. Okay. Interesting. They sacrificed a lot just for that. Uh, oh, perfect. <laughs> All right, sick. We got the win, guys. Game one is down. That was amazing. Swayze, I love this deck, man. Let's jump into game two. What's up, guys? Before we jump into the next game, I just want to remind you, if you would like to pick up this month's Patreon rewards, feel free to do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, an interesting hand. Um, like, one more land is great. If it's white, it's amazing, but I don't think we can keep. Uh, this is better, but not great. Yeah, I mean, I guess we keep and throw one of the fables back. This is a this is a tricky one. We might have to make some really interesting decisions here with this hand. So, uh, most likely not a good matchup for us either, although the Vanishing Verse is definitely helpful. Um, Shin is probably the worst draw we can have. <laughs> uh, double a Shin is obviously not good because you can't play two. Uh, importantly as well, it's... Uh, yeah, th this is going to be a rough matchup for sure. We're probably going to have to prioritize the Vanishing Verse, which really sucks because I'd like to get Adeline down. Oh my gosh, third a Shin. So bad. Don't draw a Shin anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, a land would be amazing, obviously. Um, this is going to turn out pretty good for us, I think. So I am going to just exile the Kami now. Uh, just so that can't come back. Oh, no. Well, guys, you know what happens. Sometimes you get mana screwed, and you can't help it. You just have to go with it. I know this sucks, and I hate... I hate when this happens on recording because it's like, man, this is really not fun to watch. <laughs> um, but importantly, I yeah, I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and concede, guys. Very sad, but we just didn't draw land there, so there was really they were gonna start taking off. Uh, I know that was a little early, but I feel like it was okay. Let's jump into a game three. All right, guys, this hand looks much better than our previous hand, so I will gladly keep it. Uh, interesting too because we'll uh, we'll have to make some decisions I guess right away the decision probably is to play the ridge uh, and then we can pathway for the white and then from there on out obviously the sundown pass is great uh, okay interesting um, with that in mind I'm going to go ahead and rip apart the visitor um, here's the thing, I would love to get the Triumphant Adventurer down, and I think it's obviously a great matchup against the Generous Visitor on attacks, but 
uh, in general, it's not exactly ideal. So we'll we'll see what the opponent ends up doing here. Sure. <clears throat> and maybe this wasn't correct. That's obviously a possibility as well, since we do have a Shin in hand. Um, yeah, we did kind of put ourselves in a bit of an awkward position here, I think. Uh, let's see. All right, so I don't love this, but I think what we're going to do is play in a Shin. They are most likely just going to pile on to this generous visitor, in which case we will Vanishing Verse at the upcoming turn. They're obviously going to get a pretty big hit in with this generous visitor, though. There's no doubt about that. Um, and we'll have to just kind of take it. Uh, don't love that, obviously, but it's fine. Um, perfect. Okay, so... We do this, and then we have to play the black source. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and throw this out there. Rip Apart is very good in this uh, matchup for obviously a number of different reasons, but uh, let's go ahead and attack in. Again, kind of misplayed because truthfully what we should have done is waited on the Vanishing Verse until they targeted the Generous Visitor again. 100% my bad. Uh, and this isn't going to be so good for us, if I had to guess. Um, okay. Maybe it's not so bad. Uh, if they play that, it's actually not that big of a deal. Because uh, we can get rid of the Runeforge champion still, I believe. Hmm. Uh... Let's attack in first. I'm just curious to see if they actually block or do anything. Um, go ahead and scry one. Uh, land is one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we do want lands. Uh, normally I would say let's get removal, but let's go ahead and get a one, one as well. I feel like that could randomly be helpful. <laughs> um, and then let's go ahead and rip apart the Runeforge champion. Okay, so now if they do want to play any runes, they have to play some creatures. If they have a showdown, that would not be great for us, of course, but I mean, we can't do too much about that. We just, that's a showdown, you know. Uh, we do have the Sanctuary Warden, though, that does get to come down next turn, so that's pretty good. Uh, I like getting the Scry there so we could guarantee that. Um, that's very good as well. Go ahead and Sanctuary Warden now. Uh, I will go ahead and draw a card as well. So they can double block the Ashin if they would like, in which case we have to choose which we'd like to kill, which I think it would be the Runeforge Champion in that regard. Or I guess, yeah, we can just do this. <laughs> Throw the counter there and then they can't kill it. Uh, and we get to draw a card. Vanishing Verse is really good against this board. Wow. That was so helpful. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Um, the extra draw there turning into a really clutch play. Now we do have an answer to whichever thing they start piling onto. Uh, Kami makes a lot of sense, obviously. Um, and the reality is the shield counter on the Sanctuary Warden is basically just going to be a free block. Um, Chances are the removal in this deck is not focused on damage. It's focused on enchantment exiling. And so it's really not worth it to uh, to save that shield counter, in my opinion, uh, unless we are trying to kill something in a block or whatever. But it uh, looks like we're going to be taking eight. Um, but good news, bad news here. They kind of are like... They're kind of filtering themselves down here. Okay, showdown changes the math. <laughs> um, do we save ourselves some damage? I mean, I suppose so, yeah. Um, we basically, you know, don't lose quite as badly if that. <laughs> All right, let's go Thundering Raiju, obvious reasons. All right, attack here, here 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 saving these two um where do we put the 
I think we'll throw it on the Sanctuary Warden. The fact that this has flying is pretty important, so. Uh, did we even start one yet? No, we finished one just now. Um, we get two of these. Yeah, so I'm gonna make each of us lose a life. I'm gonna do this. So we can discard our Shin pretty safely. They're gonna take the two. Uh, remove a counter. I'm gonna decline uh, twice. I'm playing very conservatively here because I just wanna make sure that we've got our, uh, our outs to win. They're gonna double block there. Interesting. Uh, nope. We wait. Um. All right. So we kill the room or the the champion, and then yeah. But we still win. Awesome. I did not count that up. Part of me was thinking I should, and then I was like, nah, we don't need to. Awesome, guys. We did it. Let's do one more game. Uh, we're a little close on time, but let's see if we can do it. All right, guys, here we are for our fourth game, technically, uh, if you count the Mana Screwed game, uh, which you should. Um, we'll keep this. This is an interesting hand, for sure. We'll lead on the ridge, uh, which will allow us with the Seed of the Empire to play the adventure, um, which is pretty good. Um, that'll let us hopefully start venturing unless they just kill it outright, which, honestly, if this thing eats a removal spell, it's kind of not the end of the world. Sure, they strangle it. It's fine, we've got another one. Um, I think, though, we're actually going to go Fable here. Uh, I'd rather be able to create a treasure token, get something else down, uh, potentially a lot sooner. So I think this makes a little more sense than the adventure. They're going to Thundering Review. Wow, very burn heavy, um, which is fine. Uh, what do we, if anything, get rid of? I think the adventure is fine to get rid of. That might have been a mistake. My thought was we would draw a land. Um, maybe that was ambitious. All right, uh, fair enough. Maybe that was just a bad call. We could have been, we could have just not and then seen what we draw, but I'm kind of glad we did if that was on top because we need to dig for a land quite badly. Okay. I'm gonna just exile the fable completely. Um, so ours comes down, that's fine, and I'm going to go ahead and rip apart here. So again, we just need a land. Any land will do. We've got our double red, so at this point it really doesn't matter which land we get, but we definitely need a land. Um, that would be crucial. <laughs> Uh, the Thundering Raiju is a great 4-drop because it does come down, immediately get to attack. Like, there's a lot of positive to it. Oh, nice. I actually played around with a deck with the Rampage in it. That's really sick. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll take that. Let's do this first. Let's definitely scry. Um, I think no. Just because we literally need a land more than anything in the world right now. Um, so I, I'm trying to think what they could have. Burn down the house would certainly be annoying, um, but hopefully we get a land. Okay, so not burn down the house. Thank you, that's so nice. Um, that really is very helpful. Thank you so much, opponent. Uh, definitely get the double white. Uh, that way we do have the Sanctuary Warden mana later on. I'm assuming they're just going to burn this. Nope, they're going to rampage again. Hmm. Fascinating. I'm very curious as to what the heck this deck is trying to do. <laughs> I really like the idea behind the uh, rampage. I've seen a lot of interesting lists with it. All right, let's go here. Uh, do we guarantee the gold span? Probably, right? That's the safer play. All right, I mean, that was a great attack. Um, and we do have Goldspan Dragon, so even if they burn down the house or blow some, oh man. All right, well, never mind. we don't. That was really annoying. 
Um, <laughs> all right, let's do this. So we get to good game them here. Yeah, we did it. Heck yeah, that was awesome. All right, sick, we did it. Let's talk about this deck. All right, so again, first and foremost, I just wanna say Swayze, thank you so much, my friend. If you guys don't know Swayze, go check him out. He is working really hard, doing some amazing stuff over on his channel, so please go hang out with him. Uh, a beautiful deck today. This was phenomenal. Um, now, is it tier one? I have no clue. I'm not trying to be competitive. I'm just trying to have some fun with it. So I'm not 100% sure that it's tier one uh, or even really like super competitive, but at least on the best of one ladder, it did great. Uh, aside from being mana screwed a couple of times, it fought through one of those two times. And like we played three games and out of those three, we played four, but out of the three that we really just had any chance of winning we won all of them so i'm really happy with that uh i really like this deck it turns out mardu aggro with a shin is like super sick i know other people have played a around with this deck list but this seems to be the best iteration that i've seen um maybe that's you know not a fair statement i don't know i've only tried a couple of them um, but this one seems great. So I really enjoyed it guys. I hope you did. Please leave a like comment down below, uh, and subscribe if you're not already. We'd really appreciate it guys, but thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you again very soon.